Well, praise the Lord, saints of God. Glory to God. This is the day the Lord has made. We shall be glad and rejoice in it. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We are on the Names of Jesus series. The Names of Jesus series. And today we'll be on the author and the finisher of our faith. The Names of Jesus series. Amen. Glory to God. Glad that you are joining from all around the world. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It is a delight to bring the Word of God and to uh, really walk in it, to, to, to um, eat of it, to dine, to taste, to see how good the Lord is. Amen. He is amazing. He's incredible. The Names of Jesus series. If you are looking for the rest of the Names of, of Jesus, they will be added to our Names of God series. So you can go right to my website, kathycopola.org, um, and you can uh, click on the Names of God series and you and you can watch any of those but also the names of Jesus we're just going to keep on um, tacking them on right there at the um, daily as, as they are being produced amen glory to God to all of you God is good he is so faithful amen it's a delight to be with you names of Jesus we are on the names of Jesus and today we are talking about Jesus the author and the perfecter of your faith Jesus is the author and the perfecter of your faith. The author and the perfecter means Jesus is the start and he is the finish, the beginning, and he is the end. Yesterday we talked about Jesus being the almighty God, the all-powerful God, the alpha and the omega, right? Which means the beginning and the end as well. But the author and the, and the finisher, meaning the author and the perfecter of your faith. And in Hebrews 12, 2, I want to read to you this scripture. It's a powerful scripture. And it says, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher, another version says the author and the perfecter, the author and the finisher of your faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. This reveals the deity of God. It reveals the authority and the completion of God. In other words, he completing the, his work of his word. He completed the work of his word by saying he is the author and the finisher. Okay. He is the author and the perfecter. He is the start and he is the, the finish, the end. He is the originator and he is the perfecter. So in other words, everything that he has called you to, everything that he has already spoken to you, everything that he is, he has said, this is the will of God for you, for your life. He is also promising you that he will complete it. He's begun it, but he's also going to complete it, right? Amen. He will, he will complete everything that he has begun in your life because he is faithful. The Lord, our God is faithful. Amen. And so Jesus, the author and the finisher, when he spoke that promise to you, the author and the finisher will complete it. It'll, he will bring it to fruition. What we need to do is stay in sync with Holy Spirit. What we need to do is make sure that our hearts remain pure. They remain right. They remain holy. Living a walk, a life of holiness unto the Lord, a, a, a walk that has a pure heart before the Lord our God is key. It is so necessary. It is key that we are always bringing ourselves to the author and the perfecter, to the, to who he is, the start and the finish, the finisher, because it says in, in Hebrews 12 two, looking unto Jesus in everything, look unto Jesus in everything that you do, let your heart's gaze be gazing upon the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the finisher, the author, the finisher, the begin, beginning and the end of your faith. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of, of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him. Now, you know that the joy that was set before him is you. You are the joy that was sent before him. You are the joy because you delight the heart of God, because you are the joy that was set before him. He looked beyond what he had to go through, the horrible, horrific death. He looked beyond and he said, I'm looking beyond the cross and father, because I love them. I will go through because I love them. You know, I am going through because they are the joy that is set before me as the father was the joy that was set before Jesus. We are the joy that was set before Jesus. So he despised, he, he went, he went on, even though despising the shame of the brutality of the way he died, right? Despising the shame, 
he decided he was going to go through because he is the author and he is the perfecter. He is the finisher. He is the beginning and he is the end. He's the author and the perfecter. He is the finisher of our faith. What he has begun in you, saints of God, he will finish. He's faithful. He is a faithful God. So he, dis despising the shame, he sat down. He sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. He sat down. It is done. It is finished. It is fully finished. He says, I paid that price fully. It is fully finished, fully complete. That which he has done in you, the author and the finisher is faithful to bring it to pass. The author and the completer, the author and the perfecter, the author and the finisher will bring it to pass. Do not, don't, don't doubt. Um, don't, don't be in worry or in lack or in disappointment. He will complete the, everything he has begun in your life. When you have a promise from the Lord, you stand firm on it and you let your heart so represent who he is. Have you seen him work mighty miracles in your life? I'm sure you have. I'm sure every one of you can say, yes, I can testify that he has come through for me every single time, no matter what. Amen. He is giving you hope in your circumstances. He is faithful in what he has started. Amen. That's right, Kelly. And he is, he gives us hope. He is the, our hope made complete. Uh, you know, we, we are not hopeless at all. No matter where you are in your journey, I will promise you this. You know, he is truly faithful and he will finish what he's begun in you. So I like this because I, I love this, this name of Jesus, the author and the finisher, the author and the perfecter, the author and the perfecter, because he is perfecting his word in you. That's what he perfects. He perfects his word. So when you align your heart with the word, align your heart. When you align your heart with the word, he will perfect that word in you. He will cause you to have peace in the midst of the storm. He will cause you to have joy in the midst of pain. He will cause you to have perspective, godly perspective, in the midst of persecution. When you rely, depend on, completely adhere to the lover of your soul, Jesus, the author and the finisher, the author and the perfecter, when you align yourself with him, he will cause you to have that perfect peace in the midst of that storm. He will cause you to have eternal perspective, heavenly perspective. And isn't that what we are to have? We are to have a heavenly perspective, not a perspective that is just good for this lifetime and here on earth, but a heavenly perspective is what he gives you when you align yourself to be in alignment with the word of God, Jesus, the author and the perfecter, the author and the finisher of your faith. Amen. He is the originator and he is the perfecter. He reveals who he is, his deity, his completion, and the, and the authority of his word. His word will never return void. And yes, he's watching over his word to perfect it. He's perfecting that word in you. And you can testify, amen, you can testify. That's right, that's right, Mary. You can testify of the faith, faithfulness of the Lord your God. That's right, Connie, you can testify, amen. Joyce, hallelujah glory to God. He's so good. So no matter what is going on, I don't care what is going on in the world. I will tell you this one thing. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep your heart centered on his will and you will never, never go wrong. He will always see that you are well taken care of because you belong to him. If you're a believer in Christ, you are, you are, you belong to him. He will always take care of his own. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. Father, I just lift them up today, each and every one of them. I thank you, Lord God, that your word gives us that divine peace. I thank you, Father, that your word gives us that, 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 that power, the unction of the Holy Spirit, knowing that you are the originator. Lord, you are the author. If an author writes a book, the author knows the content of that of that book right he's the author he or she is the author of that book they know the content they've written the content it's like they know it like the back of their hands he is the author and the perfecter of your life he has authored your life to be in existence he has authored you to be in such a time and in such a place today to give glory to our King. Amen. 
so you can rest assured that God who sees you, the all-powerful, the almighty God who knows all things is the author and the perfecter of your faith. Amen. Glory to God. Okay, I'll be right there. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Well taken care of. That's right. Well taken care of. Father, I bless them. And I thank you, Lord God, that you truly are the beginning and the end. I thank you, Jesus, the author and the finisher, the author and the perfecter. And you said that you will perfect that which concerns us today. So everything that is concerning you today, he's going to perfect it. You know he's going to perfect it because he doesn't lie. He's not a man that he should lie. He will finish what he's begun in you. Father, I bless them. I decree they are blessed. They are walking in the wholeness of Christ. They are looking to you, Jesus, not to man, not to woman. They look to Jesus Christ. And because they look to you, Jesus, they are they're, they're going from glory to glory, from strength to strength, from victory to victory, from breakthrough to breakthrough. Amen. And so, yes, Joyce, I, I see your prayer request, Joyce, that your mom can walk better. Praise report. Okay. Um, oh, oh, please. She says, um, Alzheimer's. Okay. That your brother is free from anxiety and from fear. Okay. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Well, we're going to pray for you right for her right now and for your family, Joyce. So, Father, right now, I thank you. Jesus, you are the author and the perfecter. Jesus, you are the almighty God. We talked about that yesterday. Lord, I thank you that when we have a need, you've already, you're already able to fix it because it's already fixed. It's already done. The blood of Jesus was enough. So I decree right now over your family, Joyce, healing and wholeness. Healing and wholeness because you're faithful. You are faithful to your word. Jesus, looking unto you, the author and the finisher of our faith, we decree we decree healing over your family right now. We rebuke all assignments of Alzheimer's, fear, anxiety, every, every disease, every curse, family curse, curse coming down the bloodline, we cancel it in the name of Jesus. We render it null and void. Father, I thank you, Lord God, that Lord, your word reveals your deity, the authority of who you are, and the completion even of your word and even of your work. Father, we decree healing and wholeness, and we thank you, Father. We look to you, the author and the perfecter. We keep our eyes on you, Lord God. We gaze upon you intently, and we, as we gaze upon you intently, we are set free. We're healed and we're whole. You are healed and whole, each and every one of you. So claim it. Claim it today. We bind every lying voice, every accusing tongue, and we thank you, Father, that you are, you are literally our strong tower. He's your strong tower. Amen. God bless you all. Have an amazing, amazing rest of your day. Make sure to share the video and I will see you tomorrow. God bless you. <laughs>